still wanting to die. quick today we're going to go ahead and bypass the clutch switch and the park and brake safety rev limiter on the warrior see if that doesn't fix our spitting and sputtering issue because most times if it's doing that and not letting the engine rev up it's one of those two so it's as easy as popping off the headlights Just leave that unhooked till we're done messing around with the guy. Alright, get this panel off. Now guys, I do have my suspicions that if it's not the brake switch, the brake safety switch or the clutch switch, it's something in here. Because I know when I was messing around with this earlier in the last video, that wiggling this sometimes would get one of the relays to click off and on. So we're gonna try the two switches first, and if that doesn't work, then I might just go ahead and see if I can order a new ignition switch and replace it, because that might be what's going on too. If you guys remember way back in an earlier video, this was kind of a really bad hack job done in here, and I fixed it as best I could, but there may still be something loose on in where I couldn't get at it. But we'll do these first and see how it runs. For the park and brake switch, all we have to do is unplug the connector. This wire right here is our park and brake wire. It just comes down into this connector here, which all we have to do is unplug it. And for the clutch switch, we do have to cut and splice the two wires together so the loop's closed. And you can see here, this has been bypassed before. I hooked it back up, so that's probably part of our issue right there. So I'm just gonna unplug this here at these bullet connectors, make up a quick little bypass so I don't have to actually splice them. I will just uh, pop in a little bypass wire there. And that should be it. All right, here's my simple little jumper wire. I just took a little piece of scrap 18 gauge I had and put a couple bullet ends on it. And now I should just be able to plug her in. That'll bypass our clutch switch. All right. Throw my front plate back on with my ignition switch and we'll go for another test drive. this guy to get her to go.
think we got her. She's sounding good. I was full throttle. A little bog there, meaning our jetting might be off still a little bit for the big bore that's in it. But guys, I tell you what, I'm liking it. Funny. Still wanting to die. Uh oh. So, what happened there? I thought we had her, guys. Why'd we die? fuel I can see it there in the line not much in the tank that might actually been why we were bogging I didn't have very much in the tank but we got it in the fuel line let's choke her pushing her home nothing's locked up well guys I guess to be continued so that's where the warrior is at I thought we had it but apparently there's still something going on with it now I did tow it back up to the house and it did start back up and I was able to ride it under the porch where I park it. I have since adjusted the clutch because I was thinking that maybe the clutch was getting hung up and that was causing it to stall. And it is running now. However, it won't idle. I have to stay on the gas to keep it running. I still have full throttle and it's still ripping. But if I let off the gas, it is stalling now and shutting off. So I'm thinking that maybe I have a pilot jet issue because once I get up over a quarter throttle then the thing takes off it just won't run very well up a quarter throttle and i gotta stay on the gas to keep it running at all so that's where it is for the time being it is getting parked because i have another pretty good sized project coming up here something i want to get done for the kiddos now that riding season is here so we're parking the warrior we'll get back at her later on it's been one of those projects it's just been one headache after another but we will keep trucking along at it we will get this thing figured out and get it running good this year because there's nothing to do when life throws you lemons. You don't make lemonade. You just keep on riding. And that clicking you hear is nothing major. That's just simply the chain rubbing on the chain tensioner because the bushing on the chain tensioner is absolutely shot. There's no rubber left. So that click is just the chain running along that. Nothing to be concerned of, at least at this point. All right, let's go to our back.